Grab your drinks, guys. It is time to put the world away. And let's get into some football. Manager. All right, so my last or my first episode, I clicked a lot of buttons. Huh? I like clicking all the buttons. It's, it's a new present. We just opened it up. I want to just play with everything. I tried to see what I'm missing, but I was missing what I was catching. That makes any sense? So I'll try to slow down a little bit on this one. So we had a bunch of friendlies. Um, played our second best 11 and uh, had a good inner squad game there. And then we played Moscow. And statistically, it was pretty even. Except on target. No shots on target. We had one. I said, okay, knocking the rest off. We'll knock the rest off the first one. Plus, they're the strongest team. Well, that's not the case. Then we played a uh, Portuguese side. Is that right? Yes, Varzim. See, I'm learning all these teams. What what are they two and at? Yeah, so they're a smaller, reputable team than us. And, hey, we knocked two goals in. Kamara and Gaston, which I have on loan. Thinking about signing him. He's still... A Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about signing him and they just picked him up. <laughs> Benfica. Okay. Good to know. I'm too late. Don't sleep. So then we knock seven goals past, uh-oh, Akisarspool, Turkish team. Turkish team away four goals on the roof <laughs> from roof then playing him up top davis kent and kamara oh yeah then we then we played benfica what is that sport stands for sport lisboa benfica i believe um home so hey it was on tv as well we made almost fifty thousand. Four goals we beat them i couldn't believe it well it was two two Okay, we had a penalty, 36 minute, and they scored right back 41st, and then they scored the 64th. Oh yeah, okay, here's the quality. And then Roof scored 73rd. So, okay, 2-2, two, two, I'll take that. 91st minute right, 93rd minute, the old man, Jermaine Defoe, 38 year old. I love, go old man. Yep, I'm an old man, so it's nice to see these old guys uh, in football still. They still got it. He's actually a coach um, here as well. He's one of my staff members. Not bad. He's definitely determined, and he's highly motivated. So let's get these kids in shape. So our first match is at home against Livingston. And let's go to the tactics. I haven't showed you guys. Actually, let's do the transfers. Oh, yeah, our... our all our transfers, this might, this might take a while. Um, I have no idea why I'm doing inquiries made on guys. I, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to sign. <laughs> They're listed here. Cheek, Ruben Cheek by Chelsea. Um, I need, a, and then I need a fullback. He plays both sides. French looks really good from PSG. He's loan listed. And his transfer, two million. But we got no money. No money, honey. And then a couple uh, staff members. Uh, speaking of that real quick, I'll jump over that. We're the highest in everything in staff. All right. We can always improve, right? Always improve. Always looking to improve. So let's get to this transfers. Um, this is with the computer. This was done right up to here. June 28th. Yeah, all these guys were done when I was here. So loaned out a bunch of guys. I sold the youngster that I didn't think was ever going to be playing on first team. The Killamarnock. Killamarnock for 7000 Loaned out a few more. Loaned out. And then the big uh, Southampton came in for uh, Joe Aribo for $4.7 I was like, you know what? Yeah. Um... I don't think I'll play him out here on the wings. His crossing's not very good, and his excel 
and he's supposed to be an advanced playmaker, but with 11 passing and the decisions, and he's really not going to develop more. He's already 25, maybe a little bit more, but I had better options. I mean, yes, his 18 first touch is great, but I'm not going to keep him for one attribute. So he's gone. And that helped us, I thought, would free up some more money for our transfer. Uh, to be able to sign maybe a few more players, but nope. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, I did one. Here it is. I signed an old man, Ricardo Quarizma. Quarizma? RQ. We'll call him RQ. 475000 I spent. 37 year old Portuguese but how can I say no on a 20 crossing 18 dribbling corners first touch you can see it all the gold ones here are key ones for Vance playmaker he's flary he's got tricks for days guys vision but Yes, teamwork and work rate's probably going to let him down. And is, and obviously, he's that age. His physicals aren't so hot anymore. But I played him in a, in a couple f uh, friendlies there as a Y. I didn't even think that was an option. I thought it was only for striker for a, a Trey Cortista. But I played him out here on the wing as a Trey Cortista, and he <laughs> did some great passes. Passing and vision. He, and then the set piece specialist. So I'm going for him. RQ. And that's it. So if you look at our finances, transfer budget, a hundred thousand. We had it at two million, and I even like I sold Arriba for what? Four mil four million? I thought it would go up. But what I think happened, here I go thinking again, it's dangerous. I went to scouting and I clicked the world package and I think that took away from a mer there's our scouting budget is 800,000 I think that took some of the pool away from our transfer budget to feed into this maybe I'm wrong I gotta pay attention a little bit more next time but anyway we're not gonna be able to sign anybody a quality that's gonna be a starter here Rangers for only a hundred thousand well, it's I mean it's very slim very very slim out there pickings uh, there's a couple free guys um, like I said that I was I was looking at um, been looking for some fullbacks I think there's a couple frees out there oh no expired Oh, and I was looking for loners too. But free that are slightly interested even. You know, a C plus. I mean you can spend the veterans here, the football manager that are watching this, you can spend days, hours and hours and days and on the scouting thing, just scouting for people all over. You know, I, I just kinda keep it a little challenging for myself. I just go but wh whoever my scouts recommend for me that's it that is all and right now I'm only getting C pluses here he is I was thinking about signing him Iago Falk Falke almost we're I think we're covered though we got plenty of wingers now Maybe as a striker, I don't see it as a false nine. Huh? Deep, yeah, deep lying would be almost signed him. He came on, uh, he was on trial with me. So there is that option. Um, fullback, maybe or the C minus guy, American Fabian Johnson. I like him because he played both sides. Maybe we'll see how it goes. So we got a whole month. August 31st is when the transfer window closes here. So I got some time for that. Got some time. Scout around some more. We'll see who we get popping up and and on our list. Uh, but here's the tactic. Let's get to it. If I start talking too much and time is flying by. 
Here it is. I got three tactics. We're going to go. I had the 4-4-2. Four, four, I was like, nope. I got some attacking uh, wingers. So this is a better... Um, the 4-2-3-1 fits better for us. A positive mentality. Um, pass in the space. Uh, play out of defense. Slightly lower, but be more expressive. Distribute out from the back. Counter and counter press. See how that goes. And I have a uh, more of a counter fluid counter attack it, it calls for more direct passing when we're the underdogs hopefully we'll get f uh, far in the Champions League we'll see who we play up against we got to play against the the Giants I'm gonna go in and get these this formation inside forwards sitting back and then just like I said hoofing the ball up and then I have a third one. I've played with this tactic in, in some past football managers and I, I enjoyed it. So we're gonna try to make it work here. Kind of working through the center. Shorter passing, work in the box. But we are gonna go with this one. And I think I have the team selected. It was a toss up. I have McGregor and McLaughlin, but if you compare them, um, It just his mentals a lot better but it's it's a toss-up for me I mean I really like I don't like his command of areas seven it's just that's no bueno to me that it reflects the goalkeeper's ability to instinctively take charge of the penalty area coming for crosses and, and, and commanding his defensive line that kind of goes hand in hand with communications. He's got good communications, but he doesn't know how to take care of his area. But his positioning is great. 16 leadership out there is great in concentration. So I'm going with McGregor this time. It might be split this year. We'll see how they do. McGregor, we got the captain. I haven't showed you guys that, have I? The captain is James Tavernier, and Goldson is the vice captain. So we got the captain out here on the uh, the right side, Tavernier. Wing back support, Goldson, and the Haylander. Haylander, Barisic. He's already got the. Uh, we haven't even, well, we played a couple of friendlies, but he's already got that partnership up here with Kent. Uh, Lundstrom as a ball winning support. Kamara, central midfielder attack. I know I don't have any playmakers. I know the last football manager, it was hard to get a rating. So maybe I'll go back to that because he's actually a deep line playmaker. Um, let's do it. Let's see how it goes. I know the last uh, football manager, it was hard to get any playmakers, deep line playmakers, advanced playmakers, even the roaming playmakers, none of them got good ratings. And so I always just kept them on the central midfielder supporter attack. Um, I got Haggy, great crosser, but we're gonna use them as an inverted winger. They still do that crossing. They just kind of cut inside more, inverted winger. Open spaces for that, uh, for the uh, overlap a little bit. Same thing with Kent, is gonna cut in. They're both footed, that's why I, I do like my wingers being both footed. You can switch them around, I can switch them to, uh, if they're cutting too far in, we're getting beat, we can switch them out to be wingers. So they hug that line more. He's good on, he's great dribbling, great crossing, he's got some speed on him, Ryan Kent out there. Got Davis, physicals, he's like, an old, I have an old man team, <laughs> a lot of 30 something, 36 years old, physicals. But then we do, we have a lot of pacey guys too. 16, a couple young, okay. He's 20 something, right? 22, yeah, he's, I think the young, youngest starting. Uh, Davis, 36, physicals. He's just gonna stand there and pass it. I should use him as this and Ganche, huh? but attacking um, midfielder. 
great mentals. And up top, on top is the roof, right? Here's the roof. He's been doing well for me. Jamaican, decent speed, 15 excel, 14 pace. <clears throat> All around good. <clears throat> I like this kind of guy. 15 off, off the ball. So there we go. Kimar Roof, since we have, what's his name here? Where's he at? I think I have the uh, unavailable right here. Well, these guys are out for a few months, but Alfredo Morales, he comes back <clears throat> August 2nd, still on vacation. Plan him as my starter, pressing forward, huh? Oh yeah, he's the guy that has the 19 strength. So that target forward, pressing forward will be at this <clears throat> just that composure is letting him down. Five. All right, let's do it. Our first in, we are expected, or well, our board is expecting us. End of current season. Yeah, reach, a Champions Cup, reach group stage is the minimum. Okay, but right here, the Cinch Premiership. Win the Cinch premiership required so if that's not met yeah I'm sacked you got that right um, our schedule so I'm gonna play just this one today got you guys a little bit um, introduced to the team even though the probably have a maybe one more signing before the transfer window who knows somebody might even come and leave but um, we drew, we had to play Sheriff Tiraspool. I know I butchered that. We got to play the Sheriffs. Moldova, huh? What are they? Two and a half? Yeah, two and a half. So we, sh we should <laughs> beat these teams, but I've been beat by uh, <clears throat> teams of lesser. All right, let's get to this. Let's get to Livingston. We're home. Let's go. Let's get a sellout here. Let's go. My, my, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to show you him. We, we were short. I was like, man, I need another defender and I could not find one. So th this guy, Nikola Katik was on loan and there was a button that said recall from loan. I was like, yes, please. He's quality. He's right there. It was a toss if I was going to start him or not. Great jumping reach and heading. 6-4. So, welcome to the team. Glad I, I looked at my loan. Make sure you guys look at your your loans and who's out there. Call them back. Um, there's another. I thought about bringing him back. Swiss Cedric Itten. I have that button right here. Recall from loan. But I'm going to get Morales back here in a couple days. We'll see how things go. Because this is the only spot where he can play also attacking central midfielder, shadow striker. So this is an option. I can recall him back. All right, let's enough talk. Let's get to this match. Got defenders. I got um, he was actually my under or my uh, my B squad and I called him up, Patterson. So I was looking for fullbacks. I was like, oh, there he goes. He's not bad. He's right there. Like the, the report said he's not ready yet for premiership, but I think he'll do okay. And um, we got the old man that I signed, RQ, um, another defender, another defender. Well, I got a lot of defenders on the, uh, oh, he's the left back. Okay. He's defender. Can play kind of midfield as well if need be. Uh, Bakuna can play everywhere. I had this guy in my uh, my last football manager save was uh, my local team, which is on the American. There was a USA database, and I played him on my Tucson save. He did really well, and I got Scar Scott Arfield, which is a great player, Canadian. Probably come in for Davies if he gets tired. Let's go. I don't have a, a true backup. Striker on the bench. Let's go. 
submit. Squad numbers have to be given out. Let's just auto sign those. Is seven available for you, buddy? No, you're getting 11. Let's go. Oh, I want to look on the schedule because the last one, they didn't have the odds last year's football manager. I know some in past. Um, let's go. We should be winning this. Um, they gave the odds, but last year, like I said, they didn't, they didn't, they don't have that. I like looking at that. I mean, we are definitely, for, what is this? Red card right away? <laughs> Better not be. Okay, we got a, a free kick. Let's go, Haggy. Oh, he hits it in for not even a minute in the in the match. And Haggy comes through with a free kick. Oh, giddy up. Oh, I'm liking the way it's starting, huh? Oh, that is top left corner. You mean Oh, one other thing, when I played my friend my first game, I was like, where's the ball? The ball was like the same color as the field, for some reason, as the default. So I had to go into the, the preferences and you go to skin colors and there's actually, a, a, you can change the, the color of the ball, anything you want. So you make it easy. I thought you could change like the size of it too, but that wasn't an option. Strijek. Let's go. Kamara can't. I just want to see how well they're uh, the passing. I can definitely tell like that. That turn right there, that animation that Kamara just did, I've never seen that before. I'm, I'm liking the way this new match engine is, the way they're turning. Um, it just looks more natural. Okay, look at these triangles. Look at this passing. Roof to Kent, back to Roof. Oof, no tight angle back to or Davies took he hesitated on it, but hey, he got he got it. All right. The next match, if I remember right on the schedule, we'll come back. I think it's we'll play like four or five. There's that Champions League one. I we better win that one. I'll be sad if we lose that the first one there. Um, but after that, I'll show you guys the Champions League's game. But um, Celtic is going to be the number one. It should be us and Celtic fighting for the top if everything goes smoothly. My luck, I'll probably get two goalkeeper injuries and then not be able to find another goalkeeper, emergency goalkeeper. Okay, they got a couple shots. Ten, half our shots are on target. Okay, looking good. Raise the roof. McGregor. Uh, Tavernier to Haggy. Great. Davis is on the yellow, huh? I'll probably bring in that art. Whoa! Raise the roof! <laughs> he was, I mean, he, well, he had that, what, three or four goals in that friendly, but he was just. Just like this, banging it. I never seen one this far though. What the? <laughs> Woo, keep him in. He's the hot man. Okay, here's our stadium. That was you done brilliantly. Keep it going. I'm actually gonna take Davies out here. I know I usually don't do a halftime sub. Um we're gonna put Art Field in there. I usually play him as a support as well, right? Attacking midfielder support looks good. Let's go, Canuck. All right, let's go. Looking good. Their stamina's are pretty good still. Half hearts. 50, we'll go to that 60 minutes. We'll do another uh, sub here. What's this? Complacent. Okay, I'm not I'm not into complacent. You want complacency, go sit on the bench. We're going to put Bakuna in there. Ball winning. And then Katik is complacent here on the bench, huh? Give him a little pep talk. Got some faith in you there, buddy.
like it said, we should be beating these type of teams. Uh, 70 minutes. Haggy's getting kind of haggard out there. I'm going to take out, I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to take out Haggy. We're going to put the old man in there, see if he can, um, as a Trey Cortista, I got to think about how I say that. Let's go. Let's do it. The 38 year olds out there. Woo, Kent is beat. It's quiet though. 23 shots. We got nine on target. XG of two. Nope, we got one highlight here. Throw in. Q, our Q had it. Get another goal? Nope. <clears throat> Goldson. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll have maybe one more signer, signee. We'll see how it goes. Um, I might bring that. We'll see how Morales does. Morales can actually play. He can play out in the wings as well. But I might recall Cedric. The guy I showed you guys on loan. That striker. Roof! Oh! Raise the roof! <laughs> oh, keep it up. Skip that. All right. Well, my next match, you guys see, I plan on uh, playing Celtic, so it's not going to be an easy one like this. Let's go clear that out. Come on, let's keep that clean sheet. Let's keep a clean sheet. Come on. Less than a minute left. Get in a... There you go. Nope. Oh. Bakuna. Lewis. I have the graphics at the high. I, the, I mean, you can definitely tell the crowd looks a lot better. Uh, the movement of the players. Um, and this football manager. Could be my computer too. I'm just playing here on a, a laptop. That's eh, it's somewhat powerful. But look at that. Yeah, that's domination. We did a good job, and that's what we were expected to do. Raise the roof. Got it. I'm pleased with the performance. Good job. Good job. All around. And it's nice to win our first. Look at that. I got some achievements. Clean sheet and my first victory. It's nice to get your first victory on the new shiny game so oh PSG has accepted an offer of a million from Rangers I don't think we want to get them though hundred twenty-five now there's no way we're gonna be able to even assign him okay let's start negotiation important player yep you will be Hundred thousand. Yeah, we can offer you forty-four. He's gonna spit on our face. Yeah, he's offended. Exactly. So I'm gonna come, come back. We're gonna play. Cross our fingers that we get past Sharif, Tiraspool. Play Dundee. Play the second leg of that one, and then we're gonna come back. Looks like we got a cup match here, and right here, August 29th, we're gonna play Celtic at home. Wish us luck. Well, you guys are going to see it. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Grab your drinks. Cheers. And remember, keep moving forward.